using vector drawables. Currently we are in section 3 and we are about to check out the fourth video of this section. Well, the topic of vector graphics has been covered in a separate video already. Now if you want some introduction to vector graphics then please check out the second video where I talked about drawables and also compared raster graphics along with the vector graphics. And if you want to know how to use vector graphics in your application using Android Studio, so in that case I have already created a separate video on that. Well that's a pretty long video of 20 minutes. So the link to the video is in description. So I'm not going to discuss vector graphics separately in this fresh video. And in that video, the topics that are covered are how to generate vector drawable using material design icons, how to generate vectors using SVG files, that is scalable vector graphics. Thereafter in that video, you will see how to use Vector Asset Studio to create vectors. And in the end, you will learn how to provide backward compatibility to use vectors below API 21. Because vectors were introduced in API 21, that is Android Lollipop. So you will learn to use vectors in lower API versions as well. And trust me, that video talks about everything that you need to know about vectors in Android. Once you go through that video, thereafter, proceed with the next video where we will learn how to create adaptive launcher icons.